I was. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, see, that's the trouble. I was wondering if we couldn't um, maybe ask the uh, Jiffy, co you know, the coffee, uh, Zippy, if they could do this on 10 by, what is it, what's, what's the, 8 by 11? Well, that would be 8 by, that's 8 by 11. This is 8 by 10. Yeah. No, and then what's the next by slide? 11. This is 8 by 11? 8 by 11. 8 by 17. Yeah. Um, if that wouldn't be a good idea to have some made bigger, it would, would yes, it be like well, it's your machine, you got the money. That sucks. I, I would probably have to look and see if they sell it. I don't know why it wouldn't. You know, all it has to be is the longer plastic. You know, I could check on that. Well, maybe if they didn't have it, maybe someplace like um, Warren Stationery or something. Like well, that. I think if you just. You're not going to take this, are you, lady? Yeah. yeah. I would rather you didn't. <laughs> uh, what you do is just put three concert and then put time and date, and you don't have. Then the, at the very bottom, small range, you can do. But I mean, you can't. How are they going to know where to go if you just say no, three concert? Put three concert uh, with the banjo, and then write all the little stuff down in the bottom. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> well, we can I mean, you, have if you hang that on a lamp pole, you can't see I it. I know, you can't. It's just a blur. Right. So, I mean, the only thing you do is put free, and then concert, you know, big, and they can see it. But. Is that going now, Virginia? Yes. Okay. Well, um, well, we can have more look? than one type of Madam I'm maybe suggesting that if, while the uh, camp is going, that you invite the whole town uh, to a free concert. No, you, I'd like you to do it with you. So uh, Mr. Seeker would like me to announce that we are having a concert. Concert a free down at the school. There is no charge for this concert, but we gladly accept donations. And there will be several bands there. And this is Jean Achilles, and she has done most of the work to bring this together for you. So come and, and bring up. your children and your cousins and your donations. <laughs> it's uh, bluegrass and country music, and there'll be four different groups performing on Saturday, September 20th. 5.30 to 8.30 at the Acton Elementary School. And there will be food. Hot dogs and hamburgers and drinks. And how much? Sale. How much? How much what? Food. Price. Price. Oh. Well, the hot dogs are, I think, they are. They're very, very reasonable. <laughs> very reasonable. All prices are okay, reasonable. Here we are. Can you read that? Let's see. Hot dogs are a dollar fifty. Hamburgers two dollars. I don't know about the cheeseburger thing. Cheeseburgers two fifty. Sodas a dollar. There's going to be some uh, donut bowls and cider. Think that's Oh dear. So what do you want? Everybody. 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 The whole town. And if you want. miss out. The whole town will turn off. One of the things that I wanted to say when we first started, and I was patting everybody on the back, there was one lady that was from Rhode Island, and she couldn't speak more, just so much good. She said, you are so fortunate to have a place like this for your people to visit. She said, this is beautiful. I wish they had one in my town. And I said, I wish there was somebody here to put it in here who was important. It and was very nice. It, it, was, we've done so far. it was a really fun time. And then I had a phone call from Tom, Tom Cashin over the weekend, uh, apologizing for not being able to attend any of our events. But he uh, appreciates that Dick Neal came to the Three Rivers and explained what was going on. And he said, we feel that you are all doing a wonderful job. And he thanks us. So that's good. We're making an impression someplace. So. Um, 
we need help for this um, concept. Again, it's active in elementary school, and we need uh, probably some help putting up the chairs and tearing down the chairs. Uh, general cleanup, we need directives on uh, helping uh, people who are not familiar on how to get around inside the school, on where the bathrooms are, and uh, let's see, maybe assist on the food orders. I don't know, it worked out pretty good um, at the art in the park. Most people just said to somebody, I want this, and they delivered it over. But I thought these were good. I have a lot of these left over. If we want to use that, the menu thing, that worked well. Yeah, and then you don't have people standing in line. You, they'll just go around. If we can find anybody, you know, a waitress or something. <laughs> or something. We'll find somebody somehow. But, yeah, maybe uh, you, you know, the young, yeah, so younger person. They could do right. Yeah. Um, uh, do we want to deliver? Um, do we want people eating in the gym? That was another thing I questioned. Mr. Uh, Kelly, who uh, gave us free con last year for uh, our picnic, wanted to know where I was. I hadn't come over for any free con. And uh, it popped into my head that uh, maybe we, well, no, you better not use it at the gym because it will make a mess. Yeah. And uh, I don't mind sweeping up, but I don't want to scrub. So someday we'll use Mr. Kelly's corn. But anyhow, the, we do need help. Anybody out there? You don't have to be on the committee. You just have to call 636-3097. We need your help. And um, Ted Krasak has offered to do the cooking. And it's also um, Drew Robinhart from up at the, at the farm. He's offered to help cook. So we have that part covered. Um, anything else on the um, on the concept? We'll need somebody to work register or cash box. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'll be there if I can promote some friends. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Um, 5.30 to uh, 8.30, but they may go a little longer, but I suspect if we had food available from 5.30 to 7.30, that would be yes. enough, yeah. and then cut it off so that the workers can enjoy what's going on. Um, probably we'll need somebody to direct parking. I'm not familiar with what goes on near uh, the school for parking. Where do you park? Mr. Dearborn told us, Jean and I, that we could expect 200 people, and I almost fell over. I said, 200 people? We've never had anybody but 200 out to any function. So, um, the, uh, we'll put a sign out uh, in the parking on the way the buses usually are. Uh -huh. There's a big place there, plenty of room in there. Uh -huh. But they also, you know, will be parking in around the circle like everybody else does right over the town meeting. Yeah. Now, um, is the public <coughs> allowed to use the back door down where they'll be doing the cooking to come into the gym that way? No? Uh, the only problem with the cooking outside, you better hope that it's going well. I know, but we have the tent, so we'll oh, put the tent okay. up, so we'll get covered for that. And yeah, Bob's good at that. You're going to do that, right? Yeah. Thank you. Um, no, no, no. Uh, all right, so is there anything else on, on the concept that we need to do? Uh, I will say, I've ordered the three boxes of hot dogs. I mean, not hot dogs, uh, burgers. They, they were very good and they were on sale. The, the ones we had for out in the park were $20 a box. And they were on sale for around 15 97 I think, or 14 97 So I ordered three boxes. There's three, uh, 32 in the box. 
So that should be way more than enough. And maybe, um, I don't know what to say, on the hot dogs, I get them down to slippers because they're very, very good. Okay. And I don't know, maybe 10 pounds? What do you think? Well, what I'm saying is uh, if you get uh, so many, you get 100 hamburgers, get 100 hamburger rolls, you get 100 hot dogs, 100 beef uh, hot dogs. And once you sell those, you're sold out of them. Right. That's right. it. So let's say 10 pounds of hot dogs. Yeah, that's another eight and a pound. Yeah. Well, seven in this one, he says 10 pounds. Okay. So the, uh, the burgers are all ordered. So well, they sell the hot dogs by the box so the bag. We'll figure it out. We want to get to it. Okay. Um, anything else on the concert? We all said? Yeah, well, I just wanted to say, uh, is, uh, as sponsors go, uh, I'll, I'll be uh, trying to get some sponsors. No, we 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 pass it on that for this time. We'll do it at a different time. We, it's too late to do that now, so we're not going to do that this time. But what we could do is it's staring me in the face. Is uh, what do you think about selling raffle t raffle tickets 50-50? That's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. So yeah. have somebody go around and just try to get people to sell them. Well, I went to the function over in uh, Shapley, mm -hmm. and when you entered, they were sell selling raff raffle tickets there, and people were buying them by five dollars worth. They mm -hmm. were like, what were they, three or a dollar or whatever, whatever they were, but they were, you know, throwing five dollar bills on there like crazy. Yeah. So it's fifty fifty. So I mean, we, we have got anything to lose. We have two over, but I I don't know how do you figure out. If there'll be two numbers, if you have two rolls, so you only need two rolls. You only need. Well. But how do you, how do you know if you have two rolls that they aren't going to be well, the same number? You shouldn't have the same numbers. You, you no, you can't have the same numbers. But how do you know? You get, well, you look at the roll and look at the numbers, numbers. and you look and you compare it and make sure there's not no two numbers. I don't think that's a There'll be a different sequence or a different color or whatnot. Yeah, these are, I think they're green and red or green and blue, whatever. Yeah, they have yeah. two different colors, that's no problem. This is a green, 19, oh, yeah, right. yeah. yeah, all right, red. So we'll do raff raffle tickets then. Um, and I have one more question on the. Um, I would like to see this taped. And I wonder if it uh, would be objectionable by uh, any of the band people. I doubt it, but I can check with you. Um, well, I'm sure they'd be happy to get the. I was thinking now, but then I was thinking, well, maybe uh, sometimes you'll say to people, "We're going to check." Well, I don't want anything to do with the tape, and I don't want. I don't want to be on the, you know, thing. But if we do, would you be available, Virginia, on the twentieth of um, September? Mm -hmm. Now that's taken care of. Um, the next thing is the um, pumpkin patty. And I did get an okay for the man that does the fish chowder, so he'll make the fish chowder. And um, I think we I'll should. Hold the bunker. Yeah, I'm going to go see Mr. Kelly, uh, the one on this side, Sam. Sam on the roadside. The con man is on San Pedro. But anyways, Mr. Keller. And last year, I think he gave us around 75 pumpkins. So, really? And we used, I think we, there were only a couple left. So I think, and again, I think the date we have scheduled for that is the 18th. And my son-in-law said to me, why so early? And we discussed that way back when. We had a choice of the 18th of October or the 25th. And he said, I think you'd be better off on the 25th because you're closer to Halloween now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But What's if you have something, well, 
the thing is, the school has something, I think they call it trumpetry, mm -hmm. is that what it is? They have something, and there's another organization that has something in uh, the fairground. I don't know what organization that is, but let's find out. Yeah, well, and besides, if you count your pumpkins two weeks ahead, then you get right. to enjoy them. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that too, and if you make sure. Well, you don't know again. It could be warm weather in October. I've had the kids go out in just a little sweater. Sometimes you'll freeze. And we bet the snow. Yeah. Yeah. So, when did we have it last year? Uh, it was right around there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that was the 19th. I don't know where that calendar is. I don't have it here. And that looked pretty good. Yeah, okay. it did. So you want to do it, it on the 18th? We'll leave it then. Okay, Barbara will see about pumpkins. And uh, the fish is all taken care of. Um, and we have plenty of Halloween supplies over in the barn. We can hang up again. Okay. So we need those for the gender. I think we have those. I'll check it. Um, Napkins. Yeah. And help, again. We always look for help. You think we ought to have a, um, what do you call those things that you're banging out? It just went out of my head. Oh, panada? Panada. Anybody clever enough to make a panada? Pinata. Well, you get that one last year. I bought it down to a Walmart. It was ten dollars, but you had to fill it yourself. It worked out good. Did you? Yeah, you probably had a good time. There. Did you go last year? Yeah. Well, anyways, it's that. So we're all set for that, and we'll start advertising that when uh, it gets to be October. If we get. What time that. did we do that? Um, I think we started at four thirty, if I'm not mistaken. So that um, they uh, yeah, yeah. have it you're dark when they we have four PM to dark. Okay. Well, I have four thirty, but four PM to dark. Well that's what it, yeah, that's what you got on the calendar. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So there we have. Anything else? It's good to have it here. Thank you. And don't you feel obligated anytime. You just you do what you can have the real room for you. Well we could uh, have Bobin for Apple. Just uh, get a uh, big bucket. And, and then you need towels. Yeah. And, mm, mm. We want to do easy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just easy. We'll have to find somebody, uh, my son who did the pinata thing last year is going to Colorado on the, I think the 12th of September. And he may end up staying there, I'm not sure. So that's an iffy. We'll need somebody to man the, the pinata. <clears throat> they have to put it down for the little kids and put it up for the higher thing. And, mm. uh, somebody will be there. Yeah. And we'll grab one of the fathers. Yeah, usually just, uh, we get a lot of people from around uh, people that we never saw before over there, but it was good. Thank you, Virginia, for taping tonight. And uh, uh, just to repeat, we'd like to see a lot of uh, active people out for the concert. Like to see you support our endeavors. Be before we close this meeting, could you just, re Jean, could you just reiterate what happened six o'clock when you started? So I can just... Well, we've pretty notes. much gone over, again, what we talked about before. So okay. I don't think there's anything we have to bring I up. I think what she, discussed. Yeah. she may be looking for is what this is uh, um, Tuesday, September 2nd, right. 6 oh. p.m., Mary Grant meeting. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, and, and if there was anything other... In, in no. between well, no, just six and thank you because oh, okay. we've so many people oh, okay. express what a lot of work that we have done this year and everything has been uh, very successful. A lot of people put up and made remarks, they enjoyed it. It was settled. good, it was good. We're on the map now. It was good. Mm -hmm. Are you closing the meeting? Uh, you have something to say? I have two, two more things. To oh, good. Oh, okay. Also, mm -hmm. I want to say when uh, we're going to meet again.
Okay, Dick. Yeah, we, we have two problems up there. One, is it, this one isn't you know, real critical, but I know it's being working out there that the bottom really needs another paint job. So we've got to start looking, well, recruiting help to. But that's something that you think needs to be done before winter, um, or we can well, do it in the spring? Well, the, the other big thing that I think we need to really look at, I noticed, didn't notice it before, but I brought to my attention there, right to the right of, of uh, the building, over in the bushes, along the stone wall, there's a big dead tree. And that really should be taken down because if all of a sudden we ignore it, and all of a sudden the storm comes up and it blows over, it's liable to take out, mm -hmm. take out and build it. Right. Um, so, but, you know, th those are a couple of things that uh, somebody needs to be taking a look at. And then the sign, you yeah. know, moving the sign. So, we'll worry about that one next year. The dead tree is important right now. Anybody out there would like to take the tree down? Any, uh, uh, How big no? is the tree? Is it pretty big? Well, not only, you know, pretty tall. But if you go by, all of a sudden, you, you're looking on the, the right-hand stone wall between there and the house. You're the, talking about, if you're looking at the barn, to the left of the barn, or to, no, the, right, to, the, right, to, the, to the right of the barn? Yeah. Okay. If you just look up, you'll see a tree being sticking up above all the green ones. It's waiting for me to walk. I got it, right? Mm -hmm. So we need somebody who's comfortable taking dinner. Yeah, yeah. right. Who? Right. Okay. I got a feeling what we really are going to have to do there is go talk to the neighbors and ask them if there's any problem that we'll try to fall it over on the other side on their thing. Then we'll cut it up and remove all the stuff. Yeah. But if it falls on that side, then it looks like it'll slide with the yeah, building. Yeah. Well. Oh, we need to look at it. Now, who, who owns that little strip of land that runs between the wall and the man that... The, the second house from us down the road. Not the little one. The next yes, I mean, this, uh, a house that always has a, a truck packed in the driveway. No. Not that one. The next one down? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll find out who it is. So what, they own all the land be down behind and comes over there and then out to the street that way? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So what was the other thing? The dead tree and, and, and the paint job. Oh, the paint job. Okay. Originally what we did, we used a uh, white stain. Right, but you know who did it then was uh, Carl um, Davis and his school kids. Uh, yeah, Andy Brady did. You, you did, did some spray painted uh -huh. most of it. You did some painting around the doors and windows. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and, well, yeah. As far as I could reach. Yeah. Well, it's a job that we'll put on probably for spring. I don't think we're going to do well, anything. No, but We've I, got too much going on. No, but it's a, and then there's a, there's a uh, paint of glass missing. Upstairs, yeah. Upstairs. And downstairs. Upstairs. Down, when you come in that window that's by the door downstairs, there's one oh, broken. Really? Yeah. Oh. So uh, Mr. Seeker does very good work on yeah, I'll, I'll check the size. I got some glass. Well, I say you originally you you replaced one up. Stay yeah. Up. I hope it isn't the same one. <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> well, it's not like somebody's throwing stones at no, it. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we'll need a meeting in October. Um, sure. To go over the first uh, Tuesday in October will be the seventh at six o'clock. Does anybody want to change the time? Um, I, 
I don't know how I could advertise for 6.30, but anyway, so. Is that better for you, 6.30 than 6? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Well, I like the 6 yeah. myself, only because it's still daylight when you get, come out. Won't be much. <laughs> so are we doing 6? 6 o'clock. Yeah. What was the day? 7. October 7. October 7. Yeah. There you go. October 7, 6 o'clock, right here. And now I'll call for an adjournment. If there's no more business. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Here we go. Okay. Amen.